My father says I can't have the crystal until I'm queen, so we'll just have to wait. There may not be time to wait, child. This world is filled with dangers, and you will need the power of a lumen to fight them. You can't begin your training until you have bonded with your crystal. Well, what else am I supposed to do about it? The crystal... <laughs> the crystal is probably held under guard in the royal treasury. You are the princess. You should be able to find a way inside. Otherwise, we might have to take drastic action. Um... What skill would that even be? <laughs> like, I don't, I don't think I have the skill I need to get inside yet, right? I guess I, I think we want drastic action here. I don't want to try to get in. Catch you later, squirrel. Greetings, Sam Tackle. I, I, I'm not proud of the high-pitched voice acting, but we're, uh, we're going with it. All right. What drastic action? What do you mean by drastic action? Let's hope it doesn't come to that. Try to reach the crystal. If you can't, come and talk to me again. She's gonna kill our father, isn't she? Or something, I don't know. It's, it's something terrible. Something terrible is going to happen. And we didn't get willful, willful from that either. I should have maybe done sports. Yeah, I should have done sports. Alright, I'm gonna keep focusing on divination, dammit. I want to be able to protect the future. <laughs> and we're gonna get two, uh, two tier hops on divination anyway, so that's good. Um, maybe court manners or more flattery? Yeah, I don't want to go to court. I just don't care about going to court right now. So that's, uh, maybe next time there. <laughs> it's like it. Full landing more about dogs. I would know what the drastic action means, exactly. Oh, my word. Okay. Um. We could learn a little bit about trade. Uh, more falcons, I think, clearly. More falcons is what we need here. Uh, so stick with Divination one more time. Um, man, it sucks that we didn't get a double... Uh, what are other agility skills? Maybe we do another agility. But that's still only one tier. We're still only getting one tier, whatever we're doing here. And I want to switch it up, so... Yeah, let's do more Falcons. Divination and Falcons. You learn about the fragility of hunting birds and the years of training necessary to develop mastery. Luckily, your royal falconeer does most of the hard work for you. You read about King Latimer and how he knew he was destined for greatness when he saw the shape of a crown in a spider's web. Wait. What? No, I didn't know that! Game, screw you, game! I thought I was going to 60 on Divination. I got two points in that. What a waste. Okay, well, now we know. One of the maids approaches for your attention. Lady, couriers have arrived from the Duke of Senda. Damn it, four intelligence, four affairs failed. I wanted four in intelligence, I told you. We have a... No, milady. The Duchy of Senda is in Tallahassee. They have brought you a letter, and a gift. Condolences on the death of... Deeply regret... Best wishes... Oh! What a beautiful necklace! Court manners. Something sparkly will make me feel better! <laughs> All the way to Florida, I know. We're still dominantly afraid, so we've got to do sports. Sports! You take to the court for a few games of tennis, feeling the thrill of competition. Alright. 
Does it say... No, we're still afraid dominantly. Is it just left to right, I wonder? I was hoping that would give us willful dominance. That sucks. We're capped on divination now, apparently. I knew nothing about that. Alright, we might as well get more reflexes then. Um, no more divination. I'm a failure at everything. Eventually we're going to succeed at something, okay? Eventually something will be will be successful. Disregard court matter, acquire shinies. Absolutely. Absolutely the case. Um climbing. Uh let's see. Hold on. Let me let me look at the skills again. What's gonna help me like sneak in and like steal my, my crystal? Climbing. Flexibility. Ooh, flexibility maybe. We could do like double flexibility. Yeah, maybe we just do double flexibility. Is there anything else that, uh, I mean, like, knowledge of stuff, I mean, uh, like, internal affairs would probably help us get in there. We could, like, bribe a guard. Um, since magic. Since magic could help us get in there. Climbing, running. Let's, uh, let's, let's go with flexibility, though, because we get the bonus. We can get that up to 30. So, uh, yeah. Let's, uh, let's go with that. Double, double trade flexibility. I don't know why being uh, afraid gives us a bonus to flexibility, but that's okay. You learn to relax and evaluate the tension in your body, then to practice the different types of motion available to each of your joints, twisting, shifting, and rotating. So you'd like, learn to m not... T to move, I guess? I don't know. You practice circling your arms and making kicking motions with your legs to stretch out your limbs. What? What? I wish I had a camera, like, just to demonstrate that. It's, uh, that it doesn't, like, that's not really training flexibility, that's just flailing wildly. You practice bouncing motions with your arms and legs to increase the muscular effect. Also sounds like flailing wildly. As you are walking, you spot a familiar figure in the palace gardens. It's the Duchess of Ursul. Maybe I should go and say hello. Then you notice that seated beside her is a woman in the robes of a priestess. They are very close together, their hands gently touching as they speak. Looks like she's busy. You turn and walk in a different direction so as not to disturb them. At that moment, you notice something unusual. It looks like someone just left the palace grounds by going over the hedge. Was that a servant? A thief? Or an assassin? Um... Um... So it's just hopping over the hedge, huh? Um... I mean, uh, looking over the hedge sounds a little willful, so I kind of like the idea of that. Running and hiding sounds like I probably don't die, so I, uh, I like the sounds of that. Um, but why would they be running, like, right now? Like, if, if they're running away and I look over the hedge, they're not going to turn around and then kill me then. That doesn't really make sense, unless I'm being protected by the chant of the priestess and the duchess or something? No. I think I think we want to climb over. Hey there, Lucos! Mm -hmm. Climb up to look over the hedge. Yeah, let's do that. Climbing. Well, of course. Oh, right. Of course. You look around for something to climb, but you're not sure if the nearby trees can support your weight. You run over to a statue and try to pull yourself onto the pedestal, but it's too awkward to get your feet into place. By this time, whoever you saw is probably gone anyway. That makes sense. That makes sense. 
Okay, if I do sports again, I'll finally be willful dominant. Okay, more sports then. Wait, oh, we can visit the treasury though. Ooh. The treasury can wait. Now is the time for sports. We must feel the thrill of competition. All right, yeah, there we go. Now we have like this determined look on our face. We get bonus to intrigue. That's what I thought, bonus to intrigue. Okay, we're gonna do double foreign intelligence. Royal demeanor is not gonna happen. No economics, history. Okay, that's fine. What's our other bonus? Uh, military and lumen. Oh, okay, lumen also. I wanted some sense magic. We might do that next. I think I kind of want to do double foreign intelligence. But maybe let's do foreign and sense magic. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Well, we're definitely doing at least one uh, foreign intelligence. Um, <laughs> kind of want to just do two foreign intelligence here. Screw it, I'm doing it. We're gonna know what's happening in other countries. That's uh, that's it's gonna be important. All right, foreign intelligence. Let's do it. The current Duke of Sedna is 26 years old and unmarried. He might be considered a good marriage prospect for you if you desire stronger ties with the domain of Tallahassee. The domain of Shinjira, across the sea to the west, has become steadily increasing in size, and now controls a wide range of coastline as well as most of the navigable rivers. That's, that's a little threatening. The political disruption in Tambula in recent years has caused a disruption in their chocolate production, which is the to the benefit of Nova, particularly the Dutchel, Dutchy, the Dutchel. Oh, because I see all. I was combining the Dutchy of Kigal. All right, Kigal is where all the chocolate comes from. It's good to know. Oh, right, Volxima. Yeah, I was looking for that in the list. I was like, did I just miss it? Oh, I swiftly step aside and- Reflexes! We passed! We passed a skill check, guys! I didn't even see the other one we failed, though. We didn't bumble into them. I think it would have been more interesting if we bumbled into them, now that I think about it. But we, we still passed a skill check. We passed half of a skill check instead of zero skill checks. We've now passed an entire half of a skill check. Look, Meat Sack, she'll be 15 by the time you marry her, though, so. Elegance. Uh, thank you, Draco. So we filled Elegance. Alright, uh, yeah. Visit the treasury. Well, I don't even have sense. I can't do sense magic yet until. Okay. Visit the treasury. Accounting presence. Accounting in presence. You try to talk your way past the treasury guards, but dis despite eyelash fluttering, foot stomping, and outright threats, they won't budge. <laughs> but uh okay so we uh we're still willful dominantly willful here uh what what did we uh fail accounting and uh something else felt accounting and something i don't remember what the other thing was <laughs> presence oh presence yeah presence that makes sense we're uh, certainly not getting those now, but that's okay. We got uh, some military bonuses as well. We might uh, we might start working on strategy. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. I want ciphering too. Let's uh, let's spread out. Let's do s strategy and ciphering, maybe. <laughs> Presence. Or logistics. I think logistics actually should come before strategy. Like that maybe makes sense. Hey, Ned, Ned. Thanks for the host. How's it going? Alright. 
You practice reading words whose letters have been arranged in reverse order. The simplest of transpositions, which anyone literate can puzzle through if they try, but sometimes useful to hide information um, in plain sight. You learn about the types and amounts of food required for an army on the march, and how long they will remain edible. Good, good stuff to know. There is a man here to see you. He wishes crown funding for a project of his. Remember, the treasury is not unlimited. If you choose to invest, you will have less money to work with later. Y your Royal Highness, I have a plan to print books using metal letters which can be moved and reused. I need to borrow 875 Lassie to assemble the metal in a factory to mold and cast the type. With this system, we'll be able to create new books in a fraction of the time it takes now and make copies to send all over the world. Production trade failed, yep. I don't know much about factories or trade. Would that really be worthwhile? We are not interested! <laughs> Damn it, I was interested. <laughs> Freaking Gutenberg's coming to us for funding and uh... We got, we got nothing. Alright. Um, oh, Dungeons does something now. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of expiring what I wanted to do with Willful. Maybe we want to start getting angry up. Oh, this is... Yeah, we can't do that easily, though. This one says minus one depressed instead of uh, plus one cheerful. Oh, maybe this doesn't uh, bring you further than baseline? Maybe that's what that means. Sneak out. Oh, I didn't even see that option before. I think someone said something about a ladder. Yeah, I didn't even notice that. Well, if you wanted to be willful, sneaky out's the way to go. Hey there, Isian! And Sir Stamos, welcome. Execute! <laughs> you want to make books all over the world? I don't know anything about trade, so execute him! That would be awesome. Okay, I can't even talk to anyone. Uh, I, don't, I think it's pointless to visit the treasury again. Um, I'm kind of thinking we do uh, sports and then look towards a tin court next time. I don't know. Exactly, not a bad that I... Uh, Sir Stamos, uh, you're thinking of Princess Maker, or probably Princess Maker 2, uh, by Gynos, the people who made, like, Evangelion and, um, Tinkatapa, Gurren Lagann, and some other anime series and such. Alright, so we got, um... Go out for a night of debauchery. <laughs> so, I mean, I guess that's the choice, right? Do we just uh, say, screw it, we're going, like, hardcore military right now, focusing heavily on Willful? Or are we going to try to do a balance and do a little bit of everything? I don't know, maybe, maybe we just focus on the military, like, that, that could be helpful. Yeah, I think they're unrelated as well. But it may have been an influence. So that uh, gives us one uh, lonely as well, sure. <sighs> yeah, this is this is uh this is kind of the split. A straw pull. <laughs> I mean we could do a straw pull. That is an option. I certainly don't want to do polls for a lot of uh like for everything. There's too many uh too many options. I mean, I guess that's willful and angry. That's not really choosing a side, though. Hey, Jason Kelby! How's it going? 
But yeah, I'm kind of thinking I want to spread out and do a little bit of everything. And that, I mean, that kind of fits uh, the Biden set I'm looking at right here, too. She's like, okay, well, I need to be the queen, so I need to learn about everything. So she's gonna, she's gonna learn about everything. So we're gonna do uh, sports now, and then uh, probably attend court next time. I mean, I do so much sports. It seems silly. I, do, I just feel bad attending court when I haven't even... Uh, Let's see, if I, if I go to court now, depressed will be dominant instead of willful. Uh, that's gonna be more art and... It's actually really hard to get angry dominant at this point. It's so hard to be angry. All, all I want to be is angry, and that's just not gonna happen. Okay, so it, since it's really hard to be angry, maybe we just sneak out and say we're willful. Sports! You'll be good at them! See, I mean, maybe there is more to this. Like, I'm just looking at the stat gains, but, like, as far as, like, what might do interesting stuff, dungeons and sneaking out are going to be the two that are going to do the most interesting stuff, probably. So, I don't know. I think I, I'm going to I'm gonna sneak out. Let's, uh, let's sneak out. I, I'm not clicking the button yet. I can't, I can't decide. Sneak out. You sneak out of the castle to have a little fun. You enjoy your freedom, but your father won't like it if he finds out. Okay, it's just just stat differences there. Nothing, nothing special. Okay, uh, we are going heavy into military knowledge. Then that's that's what we've decided with that, basically. Um, it looks like we're gonna have to resort to extreme measures that uh, she was talking about because I'm never getting accounting and presence. Those things are not going to happen. So uh, yeah, let's uh, let's get some internal affairs going. Um, maybe just double internal affairs. I want to know what's going on locally too. I think that's uh, that's important. All right, um, intrigue, internal affairs done. Power running, power politics, power princessing. You'll have so much political power you won't know what to do with it. <laughs> exactly, Laz. Until you have children of your own, your maternal uncle, the Duke of Merva, is next in line of the crown, and after him would be his daughter, your cousin Charlotte. Okay. The Duke the Duke is next in line of the crown. That's actually really important to know, right? Like he's uh he's got cause if if they're trying to kill me. Your maternal uncle's wife, the Countess Nix, claims kinship to the old Merva line and originally asked your mother for the title to the duchy. However, no one could verify her lineage. As a compromise, your mother created her brother, Duke of Merva. Created? Wait, what? Your mo I'm going to read the next slide, maybe it'll make more sense. The last Duke of Mead was the older half-brother of the current Duchess. His reign was brief and highly scandalous. He defied tradition to pledge himself as the life-mate of the old Dirk Duke of Ursel, then broke that off only a year later. He retired into seclusion and died still unwed. Um, as a compromise, your mother created her brother. Um, made her brother the Duke of Merva. I guess. That's that's how I'm uh, interpreting that, in any case. Your Highness, my sympathies for your loss. Even after all these years, I sometimes forget that my own mother will never be coming back. Earl of Seren... Itias. Thank, thank you. However, I must call for your aid. The Ion, uh, Ixenite occupation of the country of Imbrium has gone on for too long. Now is the time to push back. Oh, come on! I even have foreign affairs! Just not enough! I know there's been some problems with Ixion, but I don't know the details. I guess they're occupying Southern Marie. 
Military success. We have plenty of troops, so it shouldn't be that hard to drive them out if we want to make a fight of it. All right, prepare for battle. We we know we have plenty of troops, okay? Let's push them out. We're we're not to be pushed around, okay? That's uh that's where we're going. Hey there, pun in a million. Well, if they want to fight, then we'll give it to them. I will arrange for troops to be sent to your aid. Thank you, your highness. Your highness, if I may ask, that necklace you're wearing, where did it come from? It was a gift from the Duke of Sedna. Then, you have made arrangements with him? Um... What sort of arrangements? Your Highness, that is a courting gift. The man wishes to gain your hand in marriage. Oh, I, I didn't realize. Alright, our willfulness is entirely off the charts now. Um, do we have anything cool to do? I could visit the treasury again. Like, I don't care that much about this other stuff. Maybe something changes if I just keep pestering about the treasure? Probably not. Board the log boats! Exactly, it gotta be cheap. Although I don't have a... I don't have a naval strategy yet. Screw it, let's visit the dungeons. We're, we're just gonna keep being crazy willful. Affected by willfulness. Okay. Oh, that's why nothing would have happened at first. You sneak a peek at some of the luckless peasants held in the dungeons. Petty thieves and troublemakers now suffering in the dark. They're obviously bad people, but seeing them so miserable still feels unfair. There must be a better way. Alright, we're, we're looking at uh, war. Let's get our strategy up. I think this is a land battle, so um, maybe focus strategy heavily or... Logistics. I don't know. A little bit of both, maybe? Man, I had 34 in intelligence and it wasn't enough for that check. I was I was so sad about that. I'm like, I, I want to do 4 intelligence. I want to make sure we get that. That was my focus for the beginning of the game. And then we still we still didn't pass the, the time when the check finally happened. Hey, Tom All Thumbs. I'm surprised so many people know about Princess Maker. I thought it was one of the most obscure games I'd ever played, but... Everyone's comparing it to it. It is somewhat like that, Tom, yeah. Greeting, lol numbers. Alright, um, yeah, so we definitely want military. I could really see uh, strategy or logistics here. I don't... I'm either doing double strategy or, or uh, strategy and logistics. I think I think double strategy. I think we want to make sure we're ready for this fight that we're sending our troops into. Yeah, Frag has played this at least a little bit, Mud Puppy. You study the strengths and weaknesses of different weapons and battle formations. Additionally, you study the effects of battle stress on troops and how morale can turn the tide of combat. You study military recruitment and the importance of training and motivation in making soldiers who can trust and depend on each other. You receive a report from the outcome of the battle against the Ix Knights. You succeeded in driving them out of Marie, but it cost you about three quarters of a battalion of soldiers and a great deal of material. Wait. Materiel? What is this word? I've never seen that word. Maybe it is... The correct word, I assume it is, for the context or something. You lost 878 soldiers. That sounds like a lot. I'm angry. The Duke of Marie will be happy, but we could have done better. I was hoping my strategy would help us do better there, but maybe not. Hey, Pyrophant! Um, that's uh, potentially going to weaken our defenses. I don't like that. Alright, let's, uh, let's talk to my father. He's going to maybe be... 
be cross with us sending out a thousand guys to go die for some uh, questionable cause without even trying to negotiate first. <laughs> Yeah, Lucas, I could pick that up from context, that uh, material was like uh, supplies, equipment, but I've never seen the word before. Alright, yeah, talk to, talk to Dan. Dad, if this trouble with Ixion started years ago, why didn't Mom fix it? Your mother told the Duke of Marie and the Duchess of Hellas that it was their problem, and they should sort it out themselves. Oh, should... Should I have done that? The situation is different now. Everyone on all sides wishes to see what sort of queen is coming to the throne. Everyone is judging me. 